the moon, the final frontier. Hello fellow viewers, Blaze Fury with the final level of DuckTales Remastered, and it's a whopping big one. I would assume it is, because it's the moon. It's big. It's very big. So let's stop wasting time and get our moon boots on. We're gonna do the moonwalk. It's a long way to the moonlight, but the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Uh-huh, just gonna skip through this. Okay, I'm not gonna skip through this because I'm curious. Is he gonna wear like a space helmet or something like that? Because seriously though, ducks don't breathe on the moon! Okay, that's an interesting loading. That is an alien squid. Gosh, Mr. McDuck! I've never been to the moon before! Well, when it comes to space cadet Fenton. You're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's Oxy Chew, Mr. McDuck. You're joking. Our latest invention, oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That, Gyro, is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese! Well, that's what my dear mama said! And did you take a feather brain like you to believe her? Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait... Uh-oh! The Death Star! Look! Here's someone who can give us directions! Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Oh, well... He got, uh, abducted? Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. Bumbling. So, that's how we're in the moon. We got. Uh, okay, no, no epic space. Die, evil squid! Ah! Shoot! I got spaced punched! Ah! I got spaced hit again! Take that! Aha! Okay, so I'm getting invaded! Space Invaders, DuckTales style! Oh, that looks like the same spaceship that took off with Benton. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. Ah! <laughs> ah! That was stupid of you. <laughs> ah! You guys aren't very smart. Nope, guess not. One more. I'll jump on board when I see what's over here. I might be able to beat this in one try, I might not. Let's just see what this moon is made of. Uh, be it it's made of cheese, but I... Oh, that was easy. Ah, okay, so I need the suit to break that to get down there, probably. Or is that an elevator? Wow, that was stupid. Okay, round uh, two. Take me to your leader. <laughs> oh, God. Interesting. Some tells me I don't want to touch those. Some tells me I want to touch this. Oh, 
Going down. Very much out, though. More out and not down. Oop. Okay, I guess I'm going up. To the captain's quarters. Uh, please be nice. Okay, it's just a force field. A Star Trek force field. Blast me, bagpipes. A piece of Gizmo Duck suit. Oh, if only I had a way to open this door. Gizmo Duck or some way. Wasn't there something of a show in old DuckTales? A guy who wore a suit and flew, flew around like Iron Man? I think they remembered it. I just can't remember what it was called. Duck Dodgers. Or... Secret? Nope. Space Duck. Space Iron Man Duck. Iron Duck. Iron McDuck. I can't remember. Hello, Lever! Okay. The button. Release the rodents! Get down from there. And stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones! Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengage. Fenton, you're a genius! Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? And there goes the gravity. Damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. And there go the rats. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry. I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level three certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Ah, uh, it doesn't sound credible. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button too. I'll get us out of this. What? And up we go, down we go. Gravity system restored. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a Gizmo Duck suit. And now I don't care. Actually, wait. One of them was over here. This is I just deactivated the surrogate system. I should be able to get to it. Geronimo! Ah, you! Come on! I call hacks. That's Gizmo Duck's helmet. Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. No, only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon vault. And nothing else down here, so I guess I'll climb. Infiltrating the alien spaceship. Kinda like a xenomorph. Ah! Ah, I just got foolish there. <clears throat> ah, come on, get down from there. Hello, extra life! That was probably me for something. Meant for something. That is shortcut. I do not want to lose my footing. Shoot, I had a hunch. I choose left. I chose poorly. Aha! I'm a genius. I'm a genius. I'm getting smarter. I don't need the duck gizmo. I am smart. Would be a perfect opportunity for me to get squitted right there. Okay, no secret there. Wait for it. Four. Mine. Your head is mine. 
Your head is mine. Secret. None. Secret. None. I'm in secret doors for the record. Another life up? Okay, this is getting a little charitable. I don't like it. I think that's the utility belt. Or the pants. Looks like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. Now just one more part to find. Oh, that explains it. It's a hyperspace pocket. Kinda like a magic bag in MOs. Anything? 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 Going down. I'm probably gonna hit something. Woo! Woo! I hit you because I don't like you. Oh shoot! Get off the get off the zappies! Why do I do these things? Ah, at least got an extra life. Up yours, space cadet! Oh, that missed something. That missed something. That missed something. That missed something. Oh, geez, I meant to... Oh! Secret! A good one! Mine. I don't know why I needed that. Going! Going! I'm out of here. Nothing here. Why do I need that can? Okay, so I found a helmet which looks like a helmet, and I found what looked to have been a belt. Which is apparently the armor itself. Very fascinating. Up, up, and away! Waka, waka, it's a treasure. Hello, Granny! Boy, Sweets, here? please? Because zero gravity is the last place for bad dining habits, Mr. McDuck. There'll be no skipping meals what? On my watch. Bad di dining habits? Think about it for a second. You could eat. You could drink. No, wait. Yeah. Let the water out in gravity and then suck it up through a straw. A space straw. I'm worried with all these lives. Normally that means something bad. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to be needing that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I panicked. I'm not gonna lie. Huh. Secret? Secret? None. I'm making a boatload of money, getting a boatload of everything. I don't like where this is going. Okay, I know this. I know this. Huh. Huh. Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up! I found the... I found the tricycle! Okay, fair enough. It's got a butt on it, so that means it must be the pants. Gizmo Duck's wheel! I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro's. Huh, I hope it's not too late. It's too late! Time to duck dodger the way out of here. I'm gonna hit him! In a good way. Now, I have to find the exit. Should be easy, I just have to keep going straight. Down! Aha! Witty clips. For the win. Oh, jeez! You know. You, yes. Alright, fine, I'll get you your red gem. 
Going down! First, first floor! Floor zero! Oh shoot, I nearly forgot about that hole! I'm out of here! So long! Ah, he's chasing me! He's iron manning me! Take this, fake Iron Man! You too, you're not sucking my brains out. With in luck, I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault! Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I uh I think I left my favorite two dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? Nah. Don't really worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh. Hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Gizmo oh, Duck? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather Skype, I'm useless. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Benton? Wait, there was a $2 bill? Huh. <laughs> They're gone. And all I could find was this $2 million bill. Oh, $2 million. Back under the seat it goes. No! I'll take that $2 million. Holy crap! You're my new best friend. You missed! That's better. Come, Gizmo Duck! You know, I like hiring a good, good Iron Man Duck. Oh wow, he got blown up and missiled. Sucks to be him. Oh, I nearly hopped on his head. Okay, so I can't move on, he follows. Hey, oh, I Gizmo Duck, you're supposed to be protecting me. Now, Gizmo Duck, use your repulsor rays. Said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. Ah, good. Okay, not repulsors. I mean, well, the path is clear, good sir. Good work, Gizmo Duck. No. <laughs> well, I should have seen that coming. Ah, Flint Hat Blumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? I same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you dude? How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> well, thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! I was about to say bah, too. Honestly. <laughs> 
Come, evildoers. I shall give you springy justice. Who needs giant missiles with fans on them? Gizmo Scrooge away! My springy cane will bring justice. Oh, well, I bought that one. Oh, co oh, come on, I was scratching the back of my head. That was a cheap tactic. Geronimo, I should really hold on to the rope. Okay, I'm still good. Oh. Ice cream. Everyone screams for ice cream. Huh. Mine. All for me. I think I missed it. Wait a Wait a minute, I saw that. Ah! If my foot hadn't got caught, I wouldn't have saw that, honestly. What the hell is this thing? Holy Quadra Dollars! Aha, there's something here. Aha! I'm a genius. And I made millions just then. I'm gonna be on a buying. Oh shoot! I'm gonna be on a buying spree later on. Let's see now. How much of the new concept art should I buy? A few sketches, a few character models. I sure do love breaking everything with my spring. The cheese! Not that be merry. I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Uh. Let's see now. Evolution, I think, would. Uh, Evolution, the movie, comes to mind here. I'm just gonna hop up here. Haha! Uh, wait, did it just go Super Saiyan? Oh, shoot! It went Super Saiyan! It went Super Saiyan! My, uh, I, okay. I kind of hit the A and B at the same time. My mistake. Take this, Saiyan rat! Okay. I know you're a game. Huh. That was a bad move. This is a better move. Huh. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh shoot, I meant to jump! Why did you not you? Oh, that was close. Hey, la, la, la. Take that, Saiyan rat! He does not appear to appear in the same spot twice. Ah, oh, damn it, his tail got me. It's always the tail, isn't it? You know, sometime today, saying rat. Woo! <laughs> this is one spicy cheese a rat. Take that, cheese rat, for I can fly! Oh, I can't fly. Huh. Well, that wasn't so bad. Take that, you saiyan rat. I'm the only super saiyan here.
Or should I say, Super Fury? Ah, I love being cool. Cool as a, as a coldness in space while being epic. Okay, I just could have made a very epic quote there, and I just completely botched it. I beat the moon! That's what I meant to say. I beat it. Difficulty? Yes. Oh! Oh, look at all that money! Mm. I'm gonna be buying me some concept art! And I guess I'll have to watch this cutscene so I know what's going on next. They've been kidnapped. Yeah, I sure saw this coming. Sorry, McDuck, but your meddlesome nephews are a wee bit tied up at the moment. What is the security system in this mansion? Put the beagle boys up to this. Guilty as charged, Scroogey. I've been the world's second richest duck long enough. But these treasures will soon change that. <laughs> oh, tell your goons to release my boys. Not till you fork over that last treasure. Don't do it, Uncle Scrooge. Don't do it. The way I see it, McDuck, you're not in much of a position to argue. Yeah, I... You drive a hard bargain, Glumgold. Take it, you filthy cheat. <laughs> Flint Hart Glumgold, the richest duck in the world. How does it feel to be number two, Scroogey? <laughs> oh, great. What is this, a villain convention? Magic or dispel? Oh, <laughs> it's so rude of me to drop in unannounced. What are you doing here, Magica? Oh, quick, somebody sound the alarm! Duckworth, Mrs. Beagley, call the Pentagon! They sell me stock and bonds! Not so fast, Scrooge! Black a Rudy, Uncle Scrooge! I can't move! Me neither! She controls space and time! Don't you feel? Eh, greedy old fool! These treasures are far more valuable than money! And just what do you mean by that? You find secrets hidden inside old painting, yes? Painting of Drake Von Bloodstone, also known as Count Dracula Duck. These treasures are part of spells to summon him. Wait, we're going to Castlevania? You will see. With power of Dracula Duck, under my command, I will rule the world. So, yeah, this has got very Castlevania. We're gonna go kick Dracula's butt. You'd rather surrender number one dime, Scrooge. Diamonds must tempt the way to conquer world. We'll save a great deal of trouble. Also, less risk of accidental Dracula bites. The first dime I ever made? Never. Then I will take precious nephews instead. You will bring me dimes quickly enough after that. Gimses are hostages. Find your own. Quiet, piggle boys. <laughs> well, I was in the mood for some bacon for breakfast. Now I take leave. Bring number one dime to my home and mount Vesuvius in 24 hours, or little nephews will become Dracula for Dracula. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, sometimes I still get carried away. That lousy, no good so and so. I stole those treasures fair and square. This is no time for belly aching, Dom Gold. I've got to save those boys. Ha, forget it. That she devil's long gone. You can't catch her now. Maybe you're right, Flinty. Uh, that leaves me no choice. How about a deal? You help me get the boys back, and you can keep the five treasures. Ha! Without your dime, I'll become the richest duck in the world, and you'll be nothing but a shriveled-up old has-been. <laughs> that dime's not worth ten cents next to the safety of my boys. Do we have an agreement? Are you joshing? It's a deal. You know what I think, McDuck? I think you've gone soft. You've let those pesky rugrats become a business liability. And I'm gonna be the richer for it. Oh, go soak your head. 
Wait, are we doing that right now? Because if we are, then that's kind of a... I don't know. Wait, does it mean we have to do the moon over? Now remember our deal, Flinty. Help me rescue the lads, and the treasure is yours. You keep up your end, and I'll keep up mine. Ah, hell, I'll keep going. Let's see where this goes. Can't be that bad. I'm gonna about to eat my words, I just know it. Okay, those spikes hit me. Ah, what the hell? <sighs> oh, stop hitting me. Oh, well, at this rate, I probably won't be able to make it. Let's just see where this ends. I'm getting smarter about you. Oh, come on. Seriously, though, I'm not even touching the spikes. I'm touching, like, the edge of the map. Like, they're... Ow, ow, ow. I'm an idiot. Ooh. Oh, come on! Leave me alone! Ow, ow, ow. Oh, come on! Come on! You'd think after playing all these different levels, I would have accumulated some sort of notable skill. Ah, who am I saying? All that skill I gained over the week, eh, pretty much vanishes after a week. Come on! I don't even touch it! Screw it! Yeah, I just completely lost my temper. Oh, come on! Cheap tactic! And my headsets are a bit caught. I don't even know how I'm supposed to get past that without triggering the bats. I am an idiot. Please have health, please. I'll take the extra life. Oh, I am in error. Oh, come on! How the hell do I get past them without taking a hit? Those bats are batty. Literally. And that's not even a pun. That's a literal insult to them. I don't even know what I was even trying to do there. Oh! That was a cheap tactic, Bat. That was cheap. Screw it, I'm taking the hits. So long, you bat brain buffoons. I am. Ah. I'm always foolish. It works just fine.
Can I have some extra help? What? Pogo a go go? Ah, bollocks. Come on! Oh, thank God I appear back here. Oh, thank God. No, you don't. Up yours. Why did I come up here? Oh. Oh! Make a break! Ah! Your bat vision works not here. Uh, I'm not complaining. Health? Must be something around here. Oh, well, that's actually pretty good. You have got to be kidding me. Gently. Tease it. Tease it. Game's really trying to kill me. Why am I not surprised? Well, that health could have came in handy before. Ugh. Extra life. Come on. Nope. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Well, now you're just being a dick. I'll complain all I want. No! Okay, this has to be perfectly timed. Okay, there's no timing in this, there's no timing in this. Oh, thank God. I see you rocked your seat. Ah! Yeah, my eyes are not playing tricks on me. Okay, I need health and an extra life. No, no, no. I'll take it. An extra hit. Oh, crap. <laughs> Why'd I get that? I didn't need that. <sighs> Shut up, you! You're not helping! You're giving me gas! Whoa! Oh, okay. I am not gonna jump down there because I don't feel like it's safe. As opposed to everything else I'm doing right now. progress do I lose? How much? Oh, thank God. Oh. Well, do I keep all my money? Please say I do. Oh, thank God. Let the buying commence. Oh, wait, was I supposed to go to sketches first? Yep. Okay, I will admit that took me by surprise. I honestly thought that was like the last level or something like that, but no. I will be facing Dracula next week. Not now. Oh no. Ah, shoot, I don't have enough. Oh, wait. Do I have enough for anything here? I do indeed. Background paintings? Not even a cent to my name. Who am I kidding? I got plenty. And one last check. 
Oh my god, I hate bats. Dive! <clears throat> okay, the ring and the block. I can live with this. I still want those other treasures back. Now I'm a greedy duck. <clears throat> Whew. Well now, that was fascinating. Thank you for watching me defeat the moon. Oh, unfortunately, there appears to be one more level. A surprise level, as it were. I... Did not see this coming. I should have known better. Oh boy. Well, I guess hopefully next week on the final episode, probably, of DuckTales Remastered, if I don't get horribly murdered by bats again, it will be the final level next week. In a volcano fighting Dracula. That doesn't make any sense. I should be fighting Dracula in Castlevania, not in the darn molten volcano like in Resident Evil 5. He's not Wesker! Damn it, Dracula Wesker! What are you doing? Thank you for watching, uh, subscribe if you like, subscribe if you dislike, honesty is the best policy, and I will see you next week for the final Duck Day Sunday. Bye till then!